Good afternoon, everybody. All right, to start us off with Jordan, we'll start with Chip Towers and Jake Rowe. Hey, Jordan, uh, you know, obviously you've had the good fortune of participating uh, in these games against Bama. What's your feeling going into this one? And do you carry, you know, any remnants, any memories, any motivation from the previous meetings into the one you're going to have on Saturday? Um, you know, Bama is always a tough, challenging game. And I always take a consideration about how well their coach, how well they push. And um, it's just an amazing challenge. I'm ready to go in there. Um, I can't say that I have mo much motivation. You know, I'm ready for every game. We take every game as a, you know, as a business trip. So we just want to focus on us this week and then go on to Bama and hopefully do our thing. Jordan, you've kind of steadily gained respect as, as one of the better defensive linemen in the conference in the country. What, what's your objective? every game? I mean, is, is it just a do your job type thing? Is it a dominance thing? What do you aim to do every time you get out there? Yeah, it's definitely a do it, do my job type thing. Um, you know, I really play for the linebackers. I know the linebackers are going to make a lot more plays than I do. So I know if I can just hold up the offensive line, then I can just do a good job for the linebackers and the linebackers can eat off me. Next, we'll go to Mark Weiser, then Mike Griffith. Hey, Jordan, I'm curious, does Kirby ever talk to you guys about his great Alabama defenses or uh, even his defenses before uh, at Georgia in terms of you guys uh, having a chance to, to maybe establish that kind of standard and uh, being one of his best defenses he's had in his career? Absolutely not. Um, every year we're different. You know, he doesn't come in talking about the previous years, you know, as well as, you know, the accolades that we have in previous years. Then, you know, this year we have to prove it every game, every time we step on the field. So. He doesn't talk about previous teams or previous accolades that we had. So we just keep moving forward and keep pushing for ourselves so we can create our own. About the energy that this defense uh, seems to, to get in the second half. Kirby was talking about how when you guys make plays, it just seems to, to, to kind of build exponentially. What What is that feeling like in the huddle when you guys start to dominate? Um, You know, definitely – I would say for the last game at halftime, we just talked to ourselves, told ourselves to stay positive because we've been in the position before. You know, we never get wavered, we never falter. So we just want to just come out strong, make sure that we got to stop, stop after stop after stop. You know, obviously their offense made a lot of plays, but you know, at the end, at the end of the day, we just want to have one more point than they do. Next, we'll go to Seth Emerson, then Dean Leggy. Um, a little bit of a different question. You've gone against these running backs, Georgia's running backs in practice and scrimmages over the years. How are Zamir and James and Kendall and these guys and Kenny when they're going up the middle and trying to get past line and get yards after contact and get to the second level? How 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 are they similar or different? Um, I I couldn't really hear you. It was kind of breaking up. If there's any way we can. I'm sorry. Sorry, going against Samir, Kenny, Kendall, all the Georgia tailbacks in practice and scrimmages over the years, how are they going up the middle, trying to get to the second level, get yards off after contact and everything? How are they similar? How are they different? Well, we take practice with a very physical approach. Um, we definitely say iron sharp as iron. So we put our best front against their best front, and we try to just clash and bang just like that. Um, obviously, it builds experience, especially for the younger backs like Kendall. Um, you know, there's plenty of stuff we, we have to work on. You know, offense makes some plays in practice. Defense makes some plays in practice. But we usually look at those practices and assess from there what we need to fix and what we need to work on. Jordan, uh, teams get scored on. That happens. What, what do you all talk about on the sideline as a group um, on the defensive line when, when the other team scores? Just keeping our head up, um, make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, it's really not much, you know, it's, it's football. People are going to make plays. You know, it's not going to have a perfect game. We, as, as we strive for perfection, but obviously it's not going to happen. Nobody's perfect. But um, we just want to stay positive, um, keep the main thing the main thing, just focus on the next play because at the end of the day, we can't take that play back. You know, we just have to play the next play. Next, we'll go to Augusta Stone, then Jed May. 
Hey, Jordan, I've talked with people in Charlotte who are always so excited to talk about you, you know, the hometown guy. And um, I wanted to know just how much do you play for your hometown in Charlotte and what does being from there mean to you representing that area? Um, it's definitely a big city. Um, I love being a representative of Charlotte, always repping when I can. But, um, you know, just playing for, just being able to play for Charlotte, just come from Charlotte. I just want to give inspiration for the kids, definitely coming out of that city. Um, you know, anybody could do it. If I could do it, anybody can do it. You know, I was originally a basketball player, but here we are now, um, you know, three years and hundreds of pounds later, but we just, you know, just love to be an inspiration for people and kids and just let them know that, you know, I'm always repping my city. I always got their back. I know they got mine. Uh, hey, Jordan. Um Kirby mentioned earlier that, you know, going up tempo is something offenses are doing more and more now to keep defenses off balance. Um, as a defensive lineman, you know, one, how does that affect you during a game? And, and number two, what do y'all do in practice to sort of, uh, I guess, counteract that, the effectiveness of that? Well, we go warp speed in practice. Um, they always try to simulate going fast, um, especially if it's a tempo team that we're getting ready to play against. Um, they do a good job of that. Um, if, if it's a high tempo team, I make sure that I stay for extra reps and conditioning, just keep running. Um, but in the game, I would say we try to slow down their offense by their tempo, by controlling the line of scrimmage, winning first and second down. Um, that's, a, yeah, that's about it. We just try to win first and second down, slow down the tempo, control the defense or control their offense with our defense. Next, we'll go to Brandon Sudge, then Steve Hummer. Hey, uh, Jordan, I kind of wanted to go down a different path here and ask you a lighthearted question. Um, so on those uh, jumbo packages when you're at uh, tight end, um, so can you kind of take me into when you learned you were going to do that? I mean, because you're this kind of happy and jolly guy. I'm sure you were happy to hear of that opportunity. And uh, what type of joy kind of comes your way when you see a running back score, when you see Jalen have a – Touchdown. Um, I remember one day uh, Coach Munkin came to me and he would pull me to the side and he was like, hey, just know, let you know today we're going to use you for a short yardage goal line package. I was like, okay. Um, it's definitely different. This is my first time. Um, still learning a lot. Uh, there's definitely some kinks that I need to work through. But um, either side of the ball, I just make sure I'm physical and move people out the way. Um, just want to be productive as much as I can, especially, you know, playing with Jamari. Jamari's right next to me. He's one of the best of the best. So I just have to feel that I have to uphold that standard because I can't be a bum sitting next to Jamari. Yeah, uh, Jordan, uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of emphasis this week on the, the concept of finishing a game. And uh, what do you see as maybe the, the key attributes for a player and for a team to be able to finish off a game that figures to be as tough as this one does? Um, it definitely takes a lot of heart. Um, you know, they said um, football is 10% physical and 90% mental. Um, we definitely have to build our mental toughness this week, or just me, just making sure that I finish the game. I want to feel like I finished the game and just make sure that we do the best things, do the right things, do everything right this week, be as perfect as we can. We have time for two more quick questions from Charles Odom and Connor Riley. You guys uh, have two wins already this season after trailing at halftime. Um, can you talk about what that does uh, for your confidence uh, going forward? I wouldn't say it's a confident booster. Um, it's just something that we have to do. You know, we take a real business approach to things. You know, we handle our business. We get in, we get out. Um, trailing at halftime is definitely motivation because I um, definitely want to win. Always we want to win. That's that's the main goal. That's the main opportunity. That's the main objective. We just want to win. So by any means necessary, we're going to do our best to make sure that we win. Hey, Jordan, with your past experience in 2018 and with maybe some of the stuff you've seen on tape, what are you sort of expecting from this Alabama rushing attack and Najee Harris? Najee Harris. Alabama, Alabama offense in general is just very strong, very powerful. Um, you know, over the past years, they had Jalen Hurst and Tua. But just knowing that we have to adjust to the new quarterbacks and 
new offensive line, new schemes. We just have to make sure that we take extra reps in the film room, extra reps in the weight room, extra reps on the field, just do everything right. Thank you, Jordan. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Thank you.